everybody. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Friday afternoon. I hope you guys have lots of wonderful weekend plans. The weather is supposed to be fantastic. A little cloudy tomorrow, but that's okay. Um, if you did not see our three-tiered tray set for um, 4th of July and Memorial Day, oh my goodness, you're missing out. I love these pieces. They turned out so pretty. Hey, Mom, you just have got to get this set. If you have not gotten a set lately, this needs to be the one. These are gorgeous pieces. I love them. In that vein, we are going to be doing some patriotic crafts this evening. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kim Kellogg and I am the owner and creative force behind Lilac Lane DIY where we try to get you creative and keep you creative. So we're going to jump in because we have three projects tonight and they are awesome. One of them is going to take us a little longer so we're going to start with that one. Um, the other two are super easy and won't take us long so you guys can get back to your awesome weekend plans, whatever they may be. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt you down and we're going to get started. So this is a barn star. And as you can see, it is lots of pieces. However, I've got some tips for you. So all of these pieces have to be painted and then glued onto a base. But I marked them all so you know what color to paint each of them. So this one's gonna be blue, this one's gonna be blue, and we're gonna go around. So my recommendation to you with this one is make sure that you mark them. That's the best advice I can give you. So we're gonna get started painting them. This is of course all gonna be red, white, and blue. Gotta do that. So we'll start with blue. This top one is gonna be blue. So I'm gonna paint that. And I'm gonna set them aside kind of when, I, when I'm done with them. I wanna keep them kind of in the pattern that they're in. That's the biggest thing with this project is making sure you keep all of your pieces together. We also are gonna hot glue this one, whereas we normally use tacky glue. And normally I tell you I'm doing that because it's faster for the camera, but on this one I'm gonna tell you hot glue it. You'll be happy you did. I'm going for a rustic look, so I'm probably not gonna put more than one coat on mine because I want to see some of the wood through, but you can always add two coats to get that nice dark blue color. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Friday afternoon. All right, so the way this works is, it, it. hey Tiffany, it's blue, and then it's red, and then it's white, and then it's blue. Hopefully, yep, that's, I'm already okay. I was afraid I was gonna mess that up from the start. This is such a gorgeous project when it's finished that we just have to do it. It's just beautiful and totally different from anything else that we've done, which is why I like it so much. So I'm gonna put that there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go right here. This one should be blue. Yep. I'm telling you, marking the pieces is a lifesaver. Let's put a coat of blue on here. I go down and do all the blues, and then I'm gonna go back and do the reds, then the whites, and then we're gonna glue it all together. And then I made a very simple bow for this one um, because I don't wanna take away from the actual barn star. So it's a very simple bow just to tie everything together. And I am getting blue paint everywhere. And this one should be blue. Yep. So far, so good. That doesn't mean it'll, I won't mess it up somehow. I feel like this week has been a comedy of errors, y'all. Y'all ever had weeks like that? Shoo. This has definitely been one of those weeks. But it's Friday. We made it. It's gonna be a great weekend. Hey, Tammy. And we're gonna have fun crafting, so what could be better? And we have got such a busy weekend. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna see so many of you this weekend. I'm so excited about that. Some awesome classes on Sunday that are, I believe, sold out. I believe they are sold out. Can't wait for those. It's gonna be a fun day, fun, fun day. 
red. What did I do with the red? What did I do with the red? Hold on, guys. Hold on. I grabbed the red, then I didn't put it on the table. I told you it was one of those days. I told you. Okay. Here we go. So these should be red. I'm gonna grab this brush. I like this one. And paint these red. This gives such a pretty project. I'm telling you, when you see this on your front door, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I love red, white, and blue patriotic projects because they have such a long lifespan. So you have Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day to use them. Hey, Fee, which I love. I love any craft that I can leave up a long time or take down and put back up. You're gonna get messy with this one. That's okay, it's worth it. All right, then those are gonna be white, so these are gonna be, oh, I missed a blue one. I missed a blue one here. I knew something didn't look quite right. If you guys haven't signed up for our texting service, you should do that this weekend, especially if you're planning on making an order because you get 10% off when you sign up for our texting service, which is super cool. You won't ever miss another event or sale because you'll get a text reminder that they're going on. And I love that you get a 10% discount with the first time with an order after you register. Very, very cool. I love being able to send text reminders because sometimes Facebook does not notify you of things. And so when we're gonna go live randomly or have a special sale, you may miss it. And so texting is an awesome way to alleviate that. All right, white, white, red, okay. And you know, if I was here in the studio by myself, I'd just paint away and I wouldn't even think about it. But because I'm live, I know I'm gonna mess it up. Hey, Ashley, did you guys have a good dinner? Always forget you have little people in your house, so you have to eat dinner at a respectable hour. At my house, it's like nine o'clock, 8.30, maybe 10, who knows? Who knows when it might occur? Okay, so those are red. Now, we're gonna move to our white ones, which is only four left. This wasn't too bad, right? I'm gonna go ahead and turn the glue gun on and grab another glue stick. Cause we're gonna need it. Oh my gosh, that tiered tray set. Hey Linda, that tiered tray set makes me happy, Ashley. It makes me so happy. I had so much fun today painting that. You can do the traditional red, white, and blue colors on it as well, which I did. I just added a dark wax over my white paint to give it that antiqued look. But you certainly don't have to do that on that tiered tray set. It just matches my, um, my decor, and so I made it look a little antiqued. But you certainly don't have to give it that look. I had somebody already message me and ask me that. And no, you don't have to. You can just do it the traditional way and it will be just as beautiful. So even though this is a ton of pieces, this is going together really quickly. And then I'm gonna hot glue the whole thing together, which will make it go even quicker. And then we'll put some twine on it and a bow and it'll be done. The other two projects are even quicker, so you guys are gonna be free to, uh, to start your weekend. 
We appreciate you spending some time with us at the start of your Friday or the end of your Friday. I don't know. It depends on what you're doing, if it's the start or the end, right? This is the most exciting, oh, goodness gracious, most exciting part of my Friday. So I just got white paint all over the blue, splattered on it. I am the messiest crafter, I think, known to man. All right, so let's get this one. Then I'm going to touch up the blue <laughs> for my little boo-boo. And then we can put this all together. This one is so different. I love it. I just love having something that nobody else is going to have on their door. Or at least not in my neighborhood. All right, there we go. Touch up this blue one. Get that white off of there if I can. That'll have to do. All right, let's see if I can get some of this paint off my hands and then we're gonna hot glue. So, we're gonna start at the top. Hopefully, no, it's not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet, so I'll show you guys who are just joining us two pieces from the new um, tiered tray set that we'll be launching tonight, which Ashley has already done because she is always Johnny on the spot. These are my two favorite pieces from the set. Although I love the banner that's on this one as well. It is adorable. Adorable. All right, so the other two projects that we're doing tonight while we wait for this glue gun to heat up are the leaning heart, the le leaning hearts, leaning stars. So we've got these two pieces that we're gonna paint and they lean on a shelf or anywhere that you'd like them. They're super, super cute. And then for you beach lovers, we've got this adorable welcome plaque. Super, super cute and easy. That one won't take us long at all while we wait for this glue gun to heat up. And here's the simple bow we're gonna put on this one. You don't want anything that's gonna take away from your project because you want this to be the star of the show, so. We didn't do anything fancy with this one. Let's see. Let's see if that's heated up enough. No, that does not look hot. We'll wait a second more. A second more. So you guys are gonna have to tell me when we're all done tonight, make sure you put it in the comments, which project was your favorite? And if you're coming to play with us this weekend, what project are you making? Because I'm curious what the most popular project for the weekend is going to be. I think I have an idea based on those people who have registered for class, but I'm not 100% sure. Leaning stars would be perfect on a mantle. Ashley, you are right. I love all of my leaning pieces on my mantle. All right, let's try that and see what happens. See if that's good enough. See if that was hot enough. Like I said, I don't normally advocate for the glue gun for these projects, but for this one, absolutely. Because you need them to attach quickly so that they don't lean forward or backwards, I guess. And you need to get them right on the lines and butt it up to the others. And so I think hot glue is your best bet for this. Total preference though. Whoa, that was a lot of glue. Again, that's why I don't usually like it, but for this project, I think it's a winner. I think it's a winner. Just don't burn yourselves. This is like a puzzle. You're just gonna put all your pieces together and you're gonna end up with a beautiful project. Oops, we need another glue stick. Let her 
grabbed those. I love this. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, nobody's gonna know how easy it was for you to put it together. They're gonna be so amazed by it. with this oh my gosh oops push that up there we go see lots of pieces but not hard not hard at all and they fit perfectly, which is wonderful. I love having that square grid underneath, which makes it impossible to mess it up. All right, guys, this is the last piece. Perfect fit, everything looks amazing. Beautiful, 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 I love this. All right, let's cut some twine. Hurry up and get this one put together for you so you can see the end result. And then we are gonna move on to our leaning stars. I cannot wait for you to see all these projects finished. So I'm gonna turn this one around. I'm gonna go ahead and put the twine through these holes. I probably didn't clean that out good. Let's see. Probably have to make a couple holes. These, these drill holes were bigger than normal. I already had that bit on there. So I stuck with it. Oh, I am so excited about this. Oh my gosh. So, so excited. One more, just for good measure. I don't want it to pull through. Those are still gonna pull through. All right. There we go. Okay, let's trim that off. We are going to tie our bow on right here. I don't wanna glue it onto the piece itself. I think I just wanna tie it onto the twine. Oh my heavens, y'all. Look at that. So stinking cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. All right. I hate to even put it aside to do another one, but we have to. We have to. We got so many projects to do. All right. Let's see. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Holly. I like this one too, girl. All right. So we're going to do. Hey, Kelly. Okay. So we're going to work on these stars. So on this big one, I'm going to go ahead and paint the background white. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to do the. Um, the brown paint on the, turn this glue gun off because we are not gonna need that again. Um, well, maybe we will, maybe I'll just use it to glue everything together. I'm gonna make it look like stain on the frame. So I'm gonna use the brown paint and um, wipe it off. I'm looking around for a paper towel actually. Cause y'all know, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm not together, but I just created the most beautiful project ever. So I'm okay. That is so stinking beautiful. And these are so cute. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love these. Love them, love them, love them. So join this background in white because we're gonna paint our stripes in red. So I'm gonna give it a quick coat and then I'm gonna clean it up. So once I get this first coat down, what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna load some more paint on my brush and then I'm gonna go back over it so I can get rid of all those lines. So it'll have a nice smooth finish. It won't look like I just ran the paintbrush over it in two seconds. Give it a nice clean finish.
Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's set that aside. And we're gonna paint all these stars white while we got them here. And I do not have tape out tonight. Oh my gosh, I wonder if Lynn is watching. She'll fuss me. No tape over here tonight. So I'm gonna hand paint each of these stars. Get paint all over my fingers. Use your tape at home. Makes it faster. Because you can lay them. Oh, I got showing it won't do that either. I got glue strings everywhere. Another reason I hate to use a glue gun on these. Love my glue gun. Hate to use it on these projects. I love the tacky glue for these. Another star. This is gonna take the longest of the whole project. So I hope everybody had a great day. I hope that this is the end of your work week. If it's not, I hope Saturday goes quickly for you. I love Saturdays. I get to see so many of you. And Sundays, Sundays, wow. We are so busy on Sundays. Three more, three more stars. And then I'm gonna paint this other background in navy blue to put the stars on. This is gonna be a very traditional color scheme. Keep wanting to stick my finger in the paint to grab the star. That's not the way it works. Okay, stars are done. Let's paint this navy blue. That is a terrible brush. Let's see. This one's good. I want this nice and dark, so I will put two coats on this, whereas I only put one coat on the other project because I wanted that distressed look. This one I don't. I want a nice dark blue. We are almost at the end of our month too, so we are gonna be doing our ding dong door hanger at the beginning of June. So if you have not submitted a business for your, um, a, bit, a form for your business, please do. Pick your favorite business. We may drop off a door hanger to them. It will be a surprise. I'm gonna be ding dong door hanging somebody. We had lots of requests, but people didn't actually fill out the form. They just emailed me or, or messaged me, and it has to be done on the form because it's gonna be auto-generated, the, the winner, and so it has to be on that form. So make sure you do that. All right, so I'm trying to be careful here with these stripes because again, I'm going around these edges with brown to make it look like stain. So I only want these center stripes to be red. I showed you guys this the other night, but an easy way to do that is to unload some of your paint in the center and then go up next to your edges so you don't have so much paint when you're doing close to an edge. Makes a big difference. Always do my centers first and then work my way to the edges. That way I don't have too much paint.
get this little corner painted and then I'm gonna grab the paper towels so that I can do this stain treatment on the frames and then we'll just have to glue these together quick quick project this is a good girls night project drink some wine paint some stars super super fun all right paper towels let me grab them so we're gonna need them All right, brown paint, brown paint. I'm gonna show you on this one first while this red paint dries. Catch up on my comments here. All right, so all you have to do is brush on your brown paint just like you normally would. I usually do about halfway and then use the paper towel just to wipe it back off to make it look stained. This is so much easier than staining. Doesn't have any smell, doesn't make as much mess. I don't have to pull out the gloves. It's beautiful. And it dries much quicker, which is wonderful. and it looks just like stain. It's very hard to tell the difference. All right, so that one's finished. Now we're gonna do this one. This one we'll have to be just a touch more careful with because we've got that red paint around the edges. That's okay. I'm gonna do one section at a time, I think. You can always do this step before you do the red paint, and that way you won't have any, um, any issues, then you can just go over it with the paint. Go over the sections in red that you want red. I have really got glue everywhere. go super pretty I love this all right so really quick we are going to glue these together I think I'm just going to use the tacky glue for these all right this one together Look how stinking pretty that is. Look at that. I love framed projects. Love them, love them. Love them. All right, I'm gonna put these brushes on top of that one to hold it down. And we are gonna do this one. And then we're gonna put all these little stars on. So I am gonna squeeze some glue here. Y'all know the drill. I'm just gonna dip those stars takes a lot less time. Let's glue this one down. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my. And just put your stars randomly wherever you want them. I'm gonna start in each of the corners so that I know I get one in each corner and then I'm gonna work forward into the center. which that kind of looks pretty just like that, but I'm gonna use them all. 
And don't worry if you get a little glue, it does dry clear. It won't be a white spot on your... All right, there we go. How adorable are these? Look at that. I love them. Love them. All right, we have, look how quickly we've made it through two whole projects. And now this one's gonna be just as quick, y'all. This one is just as quick. So I must start by painting my background board. And I am using Ocean Breeze. I love this color. I think it's so fun and summery. So I'm gonna put some of this on my plate and we're gonna go ahead, oh, I'm gonna try anyway. Go ahead and get this background painted. Just a really quick brush of this blue paint all over. I'm not gonna try to make it perfect. I want some of the wood to show through. Again, that's just the look that I like. You can make it solid. You can use a different color. You can pick anything you want when you pick your kits up. You can change the whole color scheme if you want. just want it to look weathered like some of the paint has chipped off over time just like that do your ends as well and I'm gonna set this to the side and we are gonna paint our welcome see how fast that was super fast so now I've got this welcome here and I'm gonna paint all of it white except this little guy. I'm gonna use fire coral for him. So let's get some white and a small brush. And we are gonna paint this really quickly. Won't take hardly any time at all to paint this little guy. Right on this edge here. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna grab the fire coral. So I get hair in my nose. My hair keeps falling in my face, leaning over too far. All right, I'm gonna get the fire coral and we're gonna paint that little starfish with fire coral. We're just gonna brush it on. I don't want it to be too heavy. I just want it to look weathered but I do want to cover all the wood. I want it to look almost translucent though, so I'm not putting too heavy of a coat on. There she is, all done. 
beautiful. Our background is about dry. So we are going to just put some glue on this. Don't use too much. You don't want a bunch to squirt out. Again, it does dry clear, but you don't want globs of it everywhere. You need to scrape some of that off if you get them, just because a big glob takes a really long time to dry. And so they sit flat. All right, let's glue this baby down. Oh my goodness, that is magnificent. I love this. It's so simple, but it is so gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. All right, we, oh my gosh, in record time, guys, have made three awesome projects, and I'm so glad that you guys hung out with me. Thank you so much, John. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sandra. Three amazing projects in just a little bit of time. I love all three of them. They'll all be posted a little bit later. If you haven't signed up for our texting service, you should do so before you place an order because you're gonna get a code for 10% off for joining our text list. It's great for finding out about specials and when we're gonna go live because Facebook doesn't always share these things well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday night. Thank you so much for spending a part of it with me and happy crafting. Good night.